Welcome to this stateless code video. In this video, we're going to be installing Visual Studio Code on Ubuntu 2404. So this is a brand new installation of Ubuntu 2404. Um, we're going to, we're here at the VS Code website, code.visualstudio.com, and um, it kind of gives you some overview type stuff. If you go and click on docs here, It'll give you some documentation, including some introductory videos. If you are new to Visual Studio Code, take about a half an hour to get through all of them uh, that you can use there. And then uh, to set up, it'll vary on your operating system. Uh, we installed Ubuntu 24 in a previous video so we can show you how to do that and then also uh, Windows subsystem for Linux with Ubuntu um, so it'll be roughly the same process I did another one of these videos for it, Visual Studio code back in uh, probably 2021 using Ubuntu 2004 so this is a few years ago back when I did that I used the snap method of installing uh, in this video, we're going to use the Debian package here. So we're going to click on um, that to get our package here. It'll download into the downloads folder. And then I'm going to hit Control Alt T to fire up a terminal, make it bigger so you can see it. So we'll go to the downloads directory here. And then we're going to do an install apt install dash f and then code here by the password. While we're waiting for that to install, we've also I've gone into the stateless code GitHub page and downloaded uh, via download zip because we don't have Git installed on this system yet. Uh, the Rails 7 getting started repo that will open once VS Code is installed. Uh, this is taking a minute, so we're going to pause the video and allow for it to complete. And as you can see from the time elapsed while we were paused, it took a solid eight minutes to install this on this particular um, OS. So this is running uh, a virtual machine in VirtualBox. Uh, your mileage will vary based on hardware and whatnot. Uh, but now I should be able to, if I hit the super key and start searching for code. It will show up here. I can, if I want to, pin to dash. And then to, um, we'll open a folder here Go to the downloads and that rail seven getting started. Folder there. Yes, I trust the authors. The authors is me. Um, okay. Uh, so it gives you opportunity when you first uh, install to choose your theme. We will take a look at that. Um, we'll just stick with dark modern. Uh, you can browse language extensions. We'll take a look at some of these. say we want to do 
C and C++, Python, Prettier. Since we've got a Ruby project here, take a look at Ruby. That is, that looks deprecated. Ruby LSP is what we want these days by Shopify. Those things are kind of installing. If we go now to our extensions, some of these, like for example, this is uh, failing to select a Ruby because I don't have Ruby installed on the system yet. Um, same issues with um, Python, C++, it kind of goes through. None of these things we currently have um, installed yet. Um, so we'll probably do separate videos on each of those things to kind of get through it. Uh, the other thing that you want to do is take a look at your preferences. settings here and I'll go through some of the settings that I often modify here so uh, just from I'll grab the posts controller here um, from the purpose of somebody who does um, screencasting and making coding videos uh, I wind up changing the font size to something larger, so not 122. So I go and do that, and now the font is larger, easier to read on uh, for kind of somebody consuming a screencast. Um, one of the things I always do is change my tab size default from four down to two. Uh, and then there's one, I think it's like accept suggestions on enter that is console. Yes, yeah, sub accept su suggestions on enter. I always turn off. Um, I That annoys me to no end as a user, so I get rid of it. Um, Feel free to go with what matches your preferences, but that's uh, there are if we scroll here a ton of options available to you. Um, a lot of the extensions that you install with VS Code uh, come with options of their own. Uh, my guess is most of these extensions now have a reload required. So typically after you install a bunch of extensions, we will close and restart VS Code. It will remember what you had open. If you make it big, you can open a new terminal if you want, and it will take uh, place there you can specifically modify the terminal font size so again for somebody who's dealing with terminal font size this say 20 uh, 
that's the debug console. Terminal integrated font size. Bump that up to 20. Now you can see that that's bigger. And that gives you basically what you need in terms of an overview and install. Uh, go and install the the packages and extensions that make sense to you. Uh, we'll have other videos where we set up a development environment for Salesforce. Um, we'll deal with the, the Salesforce extension pack in that uh, video. And then uh, we'll also deal with things like installing Git and setting up uh, VS Code with Git. And we'll kind of go from another fresh copy of uh, Ubuntu and get through that whole type of thing. We've got, um, for example, this Rails 7 getting started, we have a uh, hundreds of uh, coding videos in addition to these ones that ju just for installation and getting your environment set up uh, that kind of go through uh, various different projects and um, kind of end to end uh, with the mistakes in and everything and how to uh, troubleshoot and get through all those. Um, so like and subscribe of Stateless Code and we'll see you in the next video. Code along on an end-to-end -end journey through the creation, design, and development of a Ruby on Rails application for managing tabletop role-playing games. We start from Rails New and will guide you along the journey of the entire life cycle of the application. You'll get to see real-life, real-world problems and challenges as we try to deliver value for our users. Visit statelesscode.com to level up. Thanks for watching this Stateless Code video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. Check out our growing library of videos on our social media channels. Follow us at Stateless Code, and taxation is theft.